The Japanese women in one championship are really good at grappling, so let's show you why. Popping out the backside always works when you're with other white belts, and then suddenly you grapple with somebody who knows how to hold that scarf hold properly, and you realize it no longer works. But she's also got the arm, too. It's the head and arm that she's got. And now she's trying to take that arm and shove it between her legs. There it is. Now she's going to apply pressure to the shoulder, which is the key lock. Good job by Hani to keep that arm nice and tight. She's got to keep those Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Do not allow her arms to get extended away from her body because that's going to happen. Oh, shit. All right, so Mira in her uh, recent match against Bastos uh, showed that you can use a technique that is considered uh, maybe kind of more taboo in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and it's not quite shown often or it's shown or it's thought to be of like uh, something like a, a weaker uh, position that you can easily get your back taken from. So it's uh, this kind of scarf hold or in catch wrestling we call it head and arm ride. Okay, so Often if someone is like this, they'll kind of be like this more, and this will be a little bit more rare to have your, your arm around the head and neck area because people think that they can do this. Actually, go ahead and take my back. All right, so they can pop their head out, and then they have your back. But as Miona showed in her match, right, there's, there's a lot of little details that can go into this. Right, so you can have this here, you can have the head, but the thing is, it's a lot, oftentimes it's about knowing where your body is because if you're really over them a lot, then it's easy for them to roll you over, right? Right. So the thing is, it's really about balance and putting a lot of pressure, uh, usually up on the upper body. You can kind of be down here also, kind of on the floating ribs as well, kind of give them some discomfort and pain. Um, but I think Miyota was able to get the technique like this. And I think it's easier to get the submission hold that she got if you're a little bit higher, because when you break the grip, if they're, if they're like, if they have the body lock or whatever, if you break this grip, then I think it's a little bit easier to get that top wrist lock like she did, right? Okay, so, so one of the main details is keeping a good hold also on the elbow and around the head so that when they try to take your back, so go ahead and start turning this way, they can't, right? And then you can start getting a little bit of weight onto them, making it really uncomfortable. Then you can usually break the grip there, and then you can you can do straight arm bar, or if they kind of bend, then you can do top wrist lock. All right, so good luck to all the Japanese grapplers, and uh, uh, we'll keep doing those highlights for one championship.